Hi, sweetheart. How was your first day of school? It was really nice, Mom. I made a lot of friends. There's a boy named Joey, and he has the coolest lunchbox. Did you talk to the neighbor's daughter at all? I told you to always include Sarah. But, Mom, Sarah didn't want to play. I asked her, and she just ignored me. Your father and I have already explained this to you. Sarah has autism. What's autism? Having autism means that your brain is put together differently. Your brain still works perfectly well. It just does things differently from other people's brains. Autism, also known as Autistic Spectrum Disorder, or ASD for short, is a complex behaviorally defined disorder of the brain. When using the term autism, we are referring to the broad spectrum of developmental disorders in degrees categorized by social interaction, language or communication capabilities, and range of interests and activities, repetitive behaviors. There are genetic and epigenetic components of autism. While the disorder certainly has a genetic basis, it is not as simple as a gene that causes autism. It is more likely that interactions between multiple genes produce this. So far, research has yet to identify with certainty any genes responsible for all forms of ASD. The closest will come from Fragile X Syndrome. The changes in genes methylated due to variation in maternal exposure and postnatal experiences offers another explanation to the variation we see within single disorders such as autism. We all know that your brain is a machine that's made out of tissues and neurons and nerve cells. But let's pretend it was a more simple machine. Let's pretend your brain wasn't made of tissues and neurons and nerve cells, but instead it was made of metal and plastic and electric wires. And let's pretend that when you put all that metal and plastic and electric wire together, it turned into a toaster. Some of us make white toast, brown toast, or even pumpernickel. Sometimes we might even burn the toast. Now, let's pretend that Sarah's brain is also made of metal and plastic and electric wires, just like our brain, except that when her metal and plastic and electric wires get put together, they turn into a totally different kind of machine. Instead of being a toaster, Sarah's metal and plastic and electric wires turn into a hair dryer. Now, there's nothing wrong with a hair dryer, right? Hair dryers are great. There are some things that hair dryers are really good for. There are some things that a hair dryer can do even better than a toaster. But it's really, really hard to make toast when you're a hair dryer. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make some toast, peanut butter, and jelly. And I'll bring it to Sarah tomorrow.